It's doing wonderful things on the palette. I hope it will do something fun here. Um, because I have a curve here, I suddenly decided I needed a straight here. And again, you know, you've got it very dark here. So what happens when you puddle it out? So I'm going to puddle it out like this. And pretty much what happens with this is that it stays within the boundaries of the water, of the puddle. Um, so that dark there, uh, it, it, those sort of stripes will stay as long as you don't move this until it's dry. Um, the other thing that I have found with this particular th um, method is that you can't put on, if you put on too much sort of solid paint, um, it'll crack off the surface. This surface, you know, when you bend it, um, there isn't a whole lot of, media, of vehicle in, in watercolor. So it just sort of flakes off the, the surface. So um, you have to be aware of that, you know, and just not be too, um, too generous with your pigment. Um, so... You know, you start there and then you keep working. It's a good idea with these sometimes to let them dry, let the first part dry, and then come back in later and respond to what you've got. You know, maybe move it around, try it in a different direction. But this is a fun way to, you know, play with your pigments, find a new way for them to, um, to express themselves. And um, you might find in in doing all this that you get new color combinations and new ideas for designs.